How to add Stripe to Shopify. In this video, we're going to be talking about Shopify and how you can add your very own Stripe payment gateway into this application. So it's a very easy procedure and we're going to be walking through it all. I'm going to create an account. I'm going to show you how to set Stripe up and how you can actually make it payment gateway worthy. So to begin things off, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your Shopify and you're going to click on Stripe free trial. So once we do that, it's going to basically load up your Shopify or it's going to ask you verifications and all. So just make sure to go ahead with uh, all of that and give it, you know, correct verifications. Now, once you've done that, it should load you in to the story creation. So here we are. It says, let's get started. Which of these best describes you? Now, if you're just starting to sell, you can go ahead with this. Or if you're selling online or in person already, you can go with this. I'm going to go with I'm just starting and click on next. Here it says, where would you like to sell? An online store, in-person social media, blog, or online marketplace. So this is basically the medium or point of sales where you sell your product. So obviously we're going to go with an online store because that is what we need a payment gateway for. Here it says, what do you plan to sell first? Products you buy or make yourself, digital products, dropship products, services, print on demand. I'm going to go with products I buy or make myself and drop shipped products. Once we do that, here it says, where will your business be located? Now, this is a very, you could say, important and crucial step because this dignifies if you can use Stripe or not. Because there are many countries in the world where Stripe is not available, including my country. So in the case that you do want to use Stripe, you're going to go with a more safer option like the United States. All right. So once you go with this, it says it looks like you're located in this country. So, you know, are you sure you want to create a Shopify store in the United States? You know, there could be tax and duty obligations and a few payment issues with the limited availability. But this is where Stripe is present for me. So I'm going to go with this. Now comes the email section. Now, as you can see, I'm using a temp mail for myself. You don't necessarily have to use a temp mail, but you know, if you want to, you can just follow these steps. I'm using a temp mail because I want to temporarily create an example out of Shopify. But you know, if you're using it for the long run, I would recommend using a proper email like Gmail or something like that. All right. Now, once we have added this for ourselves, we're going to go over to Shopify, click on sign up with email. Now over here, you're going to come to your email here. I'm going to paste that. And then we have our password. So I'm going to add this password right here. Now, once you have added your password, you're going to click on the create Shopify account. And here, as you can see, it creates the account where it's going to ask me the password once again. So we're going to enter that in, click on login. And once you do all of that, as you can see, it's going to start creating your store. So it shouldn't take a lot of time. It only takes a few seconds for the store's creation. And as you can see, it says, you know, you can sell in person and online view live insights and different data reports. You can also create automated emails for every single thing that you want. So as you can see, once it's loaded in over here, it says, get ready to sell. It gives you a whole setup guide to work on with. And, uh, you know, you have different things to add your first products, sell online, store settings, etc. So what we're going to be doing over here, if we want to set up Stripe is, you know, go over to the payment gateway. So I'm going to come over to settings over here. And once we come over to settings, you're going to click on payments. Now, as you click on payments, it's going to bring you to this section. So if you want to, you know, get a proper Stripe provider, you're going to come here to see all other providers. All right. Now over here in these third party providers, you're going to go ahead and search up Stripe and you should generally get it. Now, in the case that Stripe is not available for you, what you can do there is you can come over here to additional payment methods. And here, if you search up Stripe, it should generally appear for you. OK, so as you can see, I'm going to search up Stripe. It doesn't usually appear for me, neither. If I go into my providers, I'm going to search up Stripe. Nothing comes up. So if you do want a proper Stripe game payment gateway, you can either access it from this section or you can even go over to add apps. So in the add app section, you're going to go over to your Shopify app store. And once we go over to our Shopify app store, as you can see, things start loading in. Now over here, what you're going to do is you're going to search up Stripe over here. And once you search up Stripe, you're going to go over to its payments. And as you can see over here, you get a lot of payment providers like, uh, you know, charge flow, charge pay, recur pay, etc. So basically 
the best products I would, you know, reserve you to use is either charge pay. Okay. Or pay sync. So these both are totally free. Okay. You can get recurring payments through Stripe or PayPal out of both of these. So let's say I'm going to go to charge pay with automatic chargeback. And over here, as you can see, it says you can pretty much use PayPal disputes or, you know, you can use manual payment processors like PayPal, Stripe, and many more. So obviously if you're looking for Stripe, this is the perfect application for us. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install. Now over here, it brings us to appchargepay.ai. So what you're going to do is you're going to log in with your store's URL. And as you can see, it authenticates your store right over here. So we're going to go ahead, click on install. And once we click on install, it loads things in pretty quickly and it brings us here. So it says connect your account. So if you don't want to connect your Shopify or a PayPal account, uh, you're going to come straight to this section. Now you are going to want to make sure to add in your either PayPal integrations or you want to add in any other integration. So to activate your charge pay, you are going to want to make sure your PayPal or Stripe is activated. And obviously once they're activated, you can pretty much go ahead and, uh, you know, plan your charge pay. So it will charge you. Okay. It will bill you when you begin using the app. So do, you know, make sure that you are beware of that. But you know, if you have an idea of that, you're pretty much good to go. So then it brings you over to, you know, your disputes where the money that's coming in may might be processing. It might be open, might be evading response under review, whatever it could, could be many things that, you know, you might want to work along with then moving on. You could have payment accounts over here and we're going to add Stripe from this section. All right. So to add Stripe, just come over here. Obviously Stripe is an available platform. You can add things like PayPal, Klarna and Braintree too, as you can see. But obviously we are here for Stripe specifically. So add new payment gateway, go over to Stripe and you're simply going to wait for Stripe to load in. All right. And once Stripe loads in, you can pretty much add your payments, you know, generate new API key, uh, go ahead and connect it to the secret private key and you should be good to go. So yeah, that is generally how you are going to go ahead over to your Shopify and use Stripe as your payment gateway and your go to money sender. So that is pretty much all there is for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. So then that is going to be all from me and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great and amazing day. Goodbye.